Good morning and welcome to the fall semester. Um, I'm going to be your chemistry instructor for this next semester. We're going to take, take a 16 week adventure into chemistry. My name is Dr. Frankie Wood Black. For those of you who don't know me, I've been teaching here at NOC for five years. I came from industry. I spent 25 plus years working in the petroleum and the petroleum industry, working at refineries, natural gas plants, chemical plants. I started with Phillips Petroleum and then I went to an environmental consulting firm after 18 years with Phillips and ConocoPhillips and then back to Phillips Petroleum. So hopefully I can give you a real world perspective on what happens out in chemistry as well as a few other things and I think this is going to be a fun semester. I know you're probably all challenged about thinking that chemistry is going to be fun, but chemistry really is fun. So a couple of things to get us started. Thank you Mr. Black who's taking attendance for me today and on, on Tuesday. Um, I teach two sections of general chemistry. One is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday section and one is a Tuesday, Thursday section. I am at the American Chemical Society meeting, which is why I can't be with you today to start off the semester, but I did want to give you some things to get us started. So Mr. Black is definitely taking role and he will get that for me and we will get started there. You will have laboratory this week, so make sure that you're enrolled in a chemistry lab and make sure that you attend that lab as well because you will be doing the safety laboratory this week. And the safety laboratory is fundamental to the various things that are going to happen throughout the semester. And you can't do any of the other labs until that lab is completed. So make sure that you attend your laboratory. Um, we will be using Blackboard and I want to point out some things on Blackboard to kind of make sure that you cover a few things. There are some things that you are going to have to do before I actually see you guys. Um, we will be using Connect. That is our textbook that we will be looking at. You do have a link to your textbook in the course materials and assignments. Right as you open that on the left hand side of Blackboard you can go in and it will link you directly to your textbook. I have broken out the course assignments by week. So you'll see a week one folder. You do need to log into Connect and get started on those first couple of assignments in Connect. Anything that has a target associated with it, that is for your use. Um, it's practice. There'll be exam practices. There'll be tutorials. There'll be a variety of things that I'll use in Connect. Those are for practice and those won't be for any points, so you have the option to do that. But in week one, the chemistry answer palette will get you familiar with using Connect. If you've not used Connect before, you want to go in and get that done. Then your chapter one homework is already open and available. I strongly suggest that you get into that chapter one and look at it and see how those problems are done so that you want to make sure that you're ready to go. The big thing about chemistry is you can't wait till the last minute. You really need that dwell time and you really need to start looking at those assignments even before we cover the material in class. It helps you out greatly if you're covering that material and if you've seen it because it makes you pay attention a little bit more in class. It knows where some of the things that you may not know so well or that something you already do know and it really helps you get going. And you're not waiting till the last minute to get your homework done so there's not a real panic associated with it. You'll also see that we're using an app. The app is called Chem 101 and you have instructions to log on to that app in the Getting Started Course Welcome page. We will be using this app in class and as well for some homework. It is kind of a fun app. It's going to help us with things like stoichiometry, conversion factors, some of those harder topics that people struggle with. I think this will be a really nice way to kind of help us along. So we're going to try this app and see how it works. And we're using it in place of a clicker. So it's going to cost you about the same as a clicker. Actually, it's cost you less than a clicker. And it's a lot more fun. We'll be using it in class. You'll use it as extra homework. The in-class portion, those responses in there to really help us get going, that's where your extra credit is going to come in. 
So those in-class responses, participation, that's where you can get those extra credit points that everybody wants to ask for as we go through the semester. Thinking of that as well, I'm going to kind of go over a couple of things in the syllabus. We will be having laboratories 20% of your grade, homework is 20% of your grade, quizzes are 20% of your grade, and your exams are 20, and the final exam is 20% of your grade as well as exams. I will drop at least one quiz. Um, I've set the quizzes at 20 points for 200 points, which means we're probably going to have a quiz weekly. Quizzes can be in class, quizzes can be in Chem 101, quizzes can be in Connect, quiz can be on, on Blackboard. I will let you know where the quiz is before we actually have it. So you'll know where you can look at it and get into, get into that quiz. So quizzes, or will you probably expect them about once a week. We'll have four exams plus the final. Exams are going to be worth 50 points apiece. I do not drop an exam and I do not replace an exam. I do not offer makeup exams unless the exam that has been cleared with me prior to the exam date. Um, no makeup exams, but you can do some makeup ahead of time, again, prior to the exam date. We will be using Scantrons for the exams, um, the, the multiple choice ones, but don't panic on that either. Um, while I will be using multiple choice, partial credit will be available where applicable. And we'll talk about that as we get into closer to an exam so you'll know exactly what, what to expect. Final exam will be during the final exam week. Again, laboratory is worth 20% of your grade. So quizzes, I do drop a quiz. Um, laboratories will be handled via your laboratory instructor and it's worth 20% of your grade. Exams are out there and the final exam is, is there as well. So that kind of gets you those, how much of the points are. Also note that my grading scale is slightly different. It isn't the 100 or 90 to 100 is an A. I actually use an 87 and a half to 100 is an A. So be cognizant of how that grading scale works. Eventually some point in the semester, somebody will be panicking because they're in, they're thinking that 70 to 80 is a C and you'll find out, wait a second, no, you're probably doing a little bit better than you expect. So keep an eye on it. I do keep a running total in Blackboard under a column called percentage for grade and that figures in all the drop scores. Um, I won't start that until about three weeks into the semester because it does, it looks kind of funny and you won't have your lab grades except at midterm and at the final, but it will drop a quiz, it will drop the appropriate things and it will figure in the 20% um, the breakdowns. So hopefully that will get you what you need there. My contact information is on Blackboard in the syllabus and under the instructor information. You can contact me via email, you can contact me by phone, you can contact me through Blackboard, or you can contact me in my office hours. My office hours are also posted in general, I'm usually around and if my door is open, please feel free to come in. And I can help you with your, with your, um, your chemistry, you can work on a few other things there. My office is in Science 201, I'm right across from the chemistry lab. It's the door with all the cardboard furniture, so you should be able to find me. And that should get, kind of get you going there. The one thing about the Chem 101 app, when you log into the app, the instructions for logging in are under the course welcome and navigation. I will also put it in the start here section. So you'll be in a couple of different places. Follow the instructions, download the most current app from your app store. So you wanna do that for your most current app from your app store. The instructions are well done. The only thing that's gonna come into play is when you get to pay for the subscription. We have arranged with the company to do it on the back end. So my, my contact person says that all you have to do is go in and just keep following through the prompts and that will be handled on the back end. So just keep going through it. You are not having to enter a credit card number or anything like that at this point in time it's being handled on the back end. So just kind of keep on going through, make sure you have the most current app from your app store, 
and work through it that, that way. If you have a problem, please email me and let me know if there's a problem and I will follow up. You do have a Chem 101 assignment prior to our first class meeting. For my Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, we will meet on Friday. For my Tuesday, Thursday class, we will meet on Thursday. I will not be here until late Wednesday night getting back from the American Chemical Society meeting. But again, you have stuff that you have to do. Log on to Connect, log on to Chem 101, and I will have a survey posted in Blackboard as well under the first week so that we can kind of get things going. We are starting with Chapter 1, so the first lecture is going to be on Chapter 1 of the book if you want to get started and look through it. I strongly encourage you to look through both if you have the loose leaf. Um, look through the loose leaf and go through the Connect. There are lots of good features in Connect that will help you along in chemistry. So that's all for now. Please make remember go to lab. Remember to do, log on to Kim, download the app for Kim 101 and do that first assignment. And make sure you get into Connect. And I'll see my thurs Tuesday, Thursday class on Thursday. I'll see you guys on my Monday, Wednesday, Friday class on Friday. Have fun and enjoy the new semester.